everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. A couple of weeks ago, over on my fun Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official, where I do like capsule wardrobe, fashion reels, makeup hacks, talk about motherhood, minimalism, and all sorts of fun stuff. I put up a poll asking you guys if you'd be interested in seeing a frugal, budget-friendly makeup video. And this was the result. Now, to make sure this is exactly what you guys wanted, I asked a very similar question again, but on the Sugar Mama Instagram account, and this was the result. In fact, a few of you guys messaged me saying, I'm really sorry I accidentally hit no instead of yes, I'd really like to see a budget-friendly frugal makeup video. So when Revlon saw this poll and they know how obsessed I am with their lip oil, they actually reached out and offered to very kindly sponsor and collaborate on today's video. So thank you, Revlon. Now, when it comes to makeup, I have always believed you do not need to spend a large amount of money on makeup to look good and feel beautiful. I've also always believed you do not need to have this wild and crazy extensive makeup kit in your bathroom cabinet to create various different types of looks. Looks that you really value that make you feel beautiful and feel good. What I do really believe and always have is it's worth investing some of your precious time up front before you hit the stores or before you jump online to understand what you really want from your makeup kit. What are the looks you're trying to create? What are the styles that you really value? Where do you enjoy spending money or splurging even or investing? And where do you really value those budget frugal friendly products that don't ever jeopardize your budget or your financial goals? Because when it comes to looking at makeup products that don't ever see the light of day, sit at the back of your drawer or cupboards, they are a waste of money. That's money that could go towards one of your financial goals and dreams. I always wanna make sure that whenever you do spend money, whether it be a budget purchase whether it be a splurge or investment, I always wanna make sure that you get a great return on your investment. Now, for today's video, I wanna share with you where I invest my money when it comes to my makeup kit, where I save money when it comes to my investment kit, and what I do to try and get the most out of my makeup so that it always works for me it, and it gets used properly because I don't like wastage whatsoever. So let's get started. All right, number one, for me, an intelligent investment in my makeup kit, are having good quality primers, but primers don't necessarily need to cost a lot of money. The key things with primers is you wanna make sure that they match your foundation, they complement the other products that you're using. So if I'm wearing a heavy, long-lasting foundation with a full coverage, I will go and use a clear, basic primer, such as a Clarins Beauty Flash Balm. When we wear a primer, it stays on all day. We're not having to burn through lots of product by reapplying it during the day. So I don't own duplicates. I have one plain one. I have the rose pink based one by Revlon. And then I have a peachy colored one. This one's by Velvet, which is an Australian based company. Now I don't have like multiple peach colors, multiple pink colors. I have one of each and this is all I need. This gets me through my products. And as I said, when I have a primer, my makeup stays all day long. I don't need to reapply it during the day and I don't burn through my products. These last a really long time. Another frugal hack I will point out with this is I cut this open. So when I think it's running low and I'm about to go and chuck it out, I pull out a pair of scissors and I cut the tubes open and I get so much more product out. This can actually quite often last me an extra month. So whenever you think you're running low, get a pair of scissors, chop it up and see how much more product is sitting at the base of a tube. It's so well worth doing. And as I said, these aren't necessarily expensive. They really range in price range and they're great quality products. Next up is a foundation. Now for me, this is an area that I like to splurge without any jeopardy towards my budget. So the way I've done this is I understand what I need from my lifestyle. I have two types of days. I have a day where I'm running around just with the kids or just normal client meetings in the office. I want a quick, light foundation that's easy to apply. So this Neo Nude by Giorgio Armani is a liquid foundation. I goes on with my fingers. It's quick, it's easy. I'm out the door. That's perfect. And I team it with one of my primers, such as the Revlon Rose Base one, which is really pretty. As I said, if I'm filming and I've got long meetings and I need something long lasting, wear a primer and I'll use something like a Clarins Everlasting you know, full coverage makeup. But I, that's all I really need. They're the two foundations that get me through the days. Next up are bronzers. Okay, this is an area, this is bronzers along with mascara are my favorite products of all. 
Again, I don't own duplicates, but I will definitely invest in quality. Now, I will have one liquid bronzer, one matte-based bronzer, and one shimmer-based bronzer. They create different looks, and what I have done is I've actually, I always do this with makeup, is I'll go and research online and watch various tutorials about how to make the most of these products, particularly something that's multifunctional, such as a bronzer. Remember, a bronzer can be used for contouring, can be used all over the face, it can be used as a blush, it can be used as an eyeshadow, it can be used as an eyeliner, and from watching one of my favorite beauty vloggers, Andrea Ali, I actually learned that if you put a little bit of bronzer under your lip, it makes your lip look even bigger. So these are really great products, but they're not duplicates. And again, making sure that they last all day long by wearing them with a primer. It's about using the right combination, complementary products. Next up, blush. Again, probably an area where I'm happy to spend a little bit more, but not necessarily an expensive amount of money. So again, multifunctional is going to help you save money. So I've got the Westman Atelier Couchette, which you would have seen on my reels. I use it as a blush. It's a very pretty color. Again, when I go and buy something, I will go and try it on in the store before I buy it so I know it suits my skin tone because you, it's very hard and very easy to buy something in a rush and then realize, oh my gosh, that color is horrible on me. It's too warm, it's too cold, it's too terracotta. Research before you buy. So this is multifunctional. I use this also as a base under lipsticks if I need it. And when it comes to other blushes, again, sticking with pigmented colors that I know are gonna stay on all day. And this is where a palette can be really, really good return on investment because I'm getting six colors, not having to pay that much more. And this is NARS. They're very pigmented for my skin tone and texture. It stays on all day when teamed with the right primer. Next up is eyeshadow. Okay, I'm not great at applying eyeshadow. I'm always practicing and I'm trying to, I'm definitely getting better, but I'm not great at blending them. I'm quite often, I'm in a hurry to get out the door, so I don't have time to experiment with wild colors. So I follow some strict rules. I'll stick with only natural eyeshadows because they're easy to blend and I really value a fresh, natural, clean, polished look. So for me, I'll never go and waste money on a wild like purples and greens and blues and stuff like that because it's just, I'm not gonna use it and I'm gonna look like a clown to be honest. So this is an example of the Revlon um, Original Color Stay Eyeshadows. Okay, lo absolutely love this. It's super small, so it's great for traveling. The other thing is, is there is not a huge amount of product, which is a good thing, because let's be honest, who really gets through their whole entire eyeshadow palette unless you're a professional makeup artist? These are all really natural and they're long lasting. And a lot of Revlon's eyeshadow palettes actually have these really cute tutorials on the back so you know exactly where to apply them and where to blend them, which I have, I have to say are extremely helpful. But as I said, stick to eyeshadow palettes because they're good value for money. You get a lot of product and a lot of range but stick to the colors that you know will suit your skin tone and your texture. And ideally long lasting, so again, you're not having to reapply them during the day, but I absolutely love this and it's really reasonably priced and quite often it's on sale. Another great makeup palette is MAC. They do these little tiny ones as well and they also do custom eyeshadow palettes, which can be really great if you're on a budget and don't wanna own a whole massive range of makeup because you can custom it. Next up is mascara. I'm gonna spend some time talking to you about mascara. I will never, ever, ever spend a lot of money on mascara. I just think it's a waste of money. It's a product that's going to last three or four months because it dries up and it's not safe or good for your eyes to use expired mascara. So this was sent to me by Revlon. It's the Sophia's Big Bad Lash Mascara. It is amazing. I will, If I never use any other mascara except for this, I will be very happy for the rest of my life. Let me explain why. Not only does it volumize, fatten, and lift your eyelashes, it actually tints them. Yep, it tints them over, very gently over a seven day period. Now I'm someone who tints my lashes and eyebrows at home to help save money. This is timely and it's incredibly messy. I don't have needed to do this because this has done it all. I really noticed the difference. In the morning I wake up to do my makeup and realize actually my lashes are looking naturally darker. I can see, especially on my lower lashes, I can see more of them and they're looking longer and they actually are really healthy because I use a, I believe a sunflower oil in this. So, and again, extremely budget friendly and this product is quite often on sale. So if you see it, 
not only try it, but also I highly recommend stocking up on it. You will absolutely love this. But no, I'm never going to go out and buy a very expensive mascara. This is going to be my long time love. Big Bad Lash Mascara by Revlon. All right, and finally, lips. I'm someone who in the past has spent money on lipsticks. I don't know why, but I thought buying a very glamorous French lipstick made my look more polished. And what an idiot I was, because that's not the case at all. In fact, whenever I'm filming on set or I'm doing something for Channel 9 or doing some sort of commercial work where they have a professional makeup artist, I really started to notice and make a note of the products they were using on me, particularly my lips. And I noticed that more often than not, they were using a lot of long lasting products, particularly Revlon. And I started to make a note in my phone and I could see this consistently across a wide variety of professional makeup artists. Anyway, I was on set recording something for a, um, a company and someone from Revlon actually gave me a couple of products, one of which was their Revlon Lip Oil Glow. And this was actually nine or 10 months ago they gave this. This is the same product. I've not switched it. This is the, exactly this tube that was put in my hot little hand nine or 10 months ago. Now, this is the most beautiful, glamorous lip oil ever. I, if you see it in my reels, you'll see it. I wear it all the time. It is quick and easy to apply. I love a, a really glossy, glamorous lip. It is so budget friendly. It is it's so frugal. Again, it's quite often on sale. And the best news is Revlon have actually expanded their shades and there's now a much greater range in colors here. And they've sent me a few of them to test and try. So make sure you're watching on my Instagram account for reels coming up where I'll share with you and show you how these colors really work. But this, I take care of my makeup. I make sure that when I go out during the day, whatever goes into my handbag goes back into my makeup kit. I also store my makeup correctly. I have them in clear plastic containers so I can see things quickly quickly and easily and grab them and they're stored safely. I will never store my makeup sitting upright like this where product can then fall and there's a huge amount of waste. I store everything flat and I know exactly where to save my money like things like this and this which are so budget friendly. I am not jeopardizing quality whatsoever and they do give a really good polished glamorous look and feel at a fraction of the price of what I was paying for in my past. I've learned the hard way, but I have learned. And this is where I really value in saving money when it comes to being frugal with makeup. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for Revlon for kind of sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. I have genuinely shared with you the products that I really use, and you will see for yourself when you see all of my Instagram reels at Canna Campbell official. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell is switched on and have a fantastic weekend. Ciao for now.